Now that we've successfully written our first test, let's go ahead and see some more features of uTest utils and make this test a little bit more interesting. What I'm going to do now is show you how you can pass props to your components. So let's go ahead and add some props to this app component. We're going to add a single prop of count and this one's going to have a type of number. Let's go ahead now and render the count prop inside of the DOM. So I'm going to jump down here and we're just going to replace this with count and render the count. If we save this off, we expect it to fail because we haven't updated our assertion and that is failing successfully. Before we go any further, I'm going to change my assertion a little bit. Instead of rendering against the HTML, which is quite often going to fail even if you make trivial changes, such as using a div instead of a span, what I'm going to do is change the assertion to use to contain instead. What I'm really interested in here is if we're rendering the correct message, in this case hello. So let's go ahead and update that one. If I save this off, it is still going to fail, and that's perfectly fine. Let's update it again, and we're going to expect count to be 1. Now we need to make sure we're passing the correct count, and currently we're not. So what I'm going to do is use the second argument to mount, which is the mounting options, which takes a number of options. In this case, we're going to use the prop mounting option, and I'm going to pass a count of 2. Well, let's pass a count of 1, and if we save this one off, it should hopefully now be passing, and so it is. Definitely a good place to be. This is now working, but let's go ahead and make it a little bit more interesting. What I'm going to do is render whether the number is odd or even. So I'm going to come down here and improve this just a little bit. We're going to render the current content, but we're also going to add count is and then pass in even if it is even. So we're going to have to add a conditional in here. What I'm going to do is use vf and check if count is even. We can just do count modulus 2 and then see if that is triple equal to 0. And if it is, we know it's going to be an even number. Let's try this one out. I'm going to save it off and we're going to expect a failure here. Of course, that's because the count is not even. We're not going to render anything because count is one, which is an odd number. Let's go ahead and add the other side of the condition. In this case, it's going to be the opposite. I'm just going to reverse this and make it into count is odd. And if we save this off, it is actually going to pass because we have rendered the count correctly. Finally, I'm going to update my assertion and say count is odd. And if we save this one off, it is going to pass. Just to make sure it really is working, I'm going to change it to even and watch it fail, and it is failing correctly. Let's undo that one and put it back, and everything is now passing.